eluded me for many years, and I, I think I've finally begun to figure it out. It's a uh, alcohol dripping technique that is supposed to spread the acrylics about. And I think part of the problem that I was having was I was using an isopropyl alcohol that was only about 70 or 72 percent. Um, I recently found this alcohol and it is marked 91 percent and it has made all the difference in the world so maybe that's the solution. I don't know. I've put down a base of uh, blue. I've also taken the opportunity to make up, mix up a little bit of a um, uh, wash and it's um, a turquoise with a touch of gold iridescent and I've taken it down to about a 50-50 mix of paint and water and what I want to do is is uh, make sure that this is well mixed and I'm going to try and do a single stroke over these areas um, it's kind of a real sloppy technique um, which is uh, really kind of interesting and I'm not going to be too terribly fussy with this. I, I just want to get the, get it covered and do it fast before it starts drying. And what I've done is I have actually put in some of the alcohol into a small container and uh, I'm just going to splash it on here so you can see what happens. It's probably one of the most fascinating uh, techniques I've done for a while. Um, and I really like the splashiness of it. So that's this layer. Um, I've also found that I can come back and I can do a lot of layers with this and really get some fascinating effects. So I'm going to let this dry and um, I'll come back and we'll try another layer. Uh, one of the fascinating things that has happened here is because I used a metallic paint, the alcohol has caused it to separate and it's actually forming a little ridge around some of these color areas. Uh, very fascinating technique, I think. So I'm ready to put the next color on. And what I've done is I've mixed up a lighter shade of this uh, by adding a lot of white to it. And I'm still maintaining that thinness. And maybe even we'll thin it out just a hair more. And I'm going to apply the next coat. Now, I don't think it makes any difference what direction you apply the paint on. But you'll notice that on this second coat, as I'm applying it, it's already starting to come apart. I think that's the most fascinating part of all of this. Now, this piece is going to be a little bit larger than what I need so that I can actually cut it apart when I'm done and make the uh, panel the size that I'm looking for. So, there's the next layer. I'm going to go ahead and use the alcohol anyway and see what happens with this piece. Uh, to me this is like magical. And each time it comes out differently. Um, so I'm just going to keep at this until I find something that I rather like. And I think I'm going to stop right there. I think you can see the, uh, the fun that this can be. And that it's, uh, it really is a fascinating way of, of of working with acrylic paints. So this is the next layer. I'm going to let this dry now and I'll be back. Well it would appear that this is dried now and I'm very pleased with the results. It has the look of almost like a uh, Turkish marble paper and I think I'm going to leave it right there and call it quits. Um, very fascinating stuff. So that's it. That's the uh, alcohol technique with the 91 percent alcohol. So I hope that's a, a little bit of fun for you. Take care.